So welcome back everybody. Today, of course, is always one of my favorite days. Uh, it is time, you can see how tall this hive is. I hope to get a lot out of this one, but it is time to harvest some honey. Uh, I came out here a couple of weeks ago and I was able to harvest about 50 pounds of honey. Um, it was just a matter of the bees were bringing back so much honey and uh, I needed to get, get them some extra space uh, to put more honey in so they didn't get honey bound in the hive. And I was able to get about 50 pounds, which was really, really, really good. So today is May the 19th. So let's get my hood on here and, uh, and get to it. See, there's a lot of a lot of honey in here, but it's not it's not technically honey. It's still really nectar because it's not capped yet. So they're working on it. We're gonna give them some time. There's actually some brood up in this box too. We'll go ahead and take this. The rule of thumb is that if there's 80% capped, uh, you should you should be fine. So guys, we're down to the very last hive and I have been really looking forward to this hive because inside of here is an experiment that I have been wanting to do for a very long time. And I finally bit the bullet and did it this year. Check this out. So this is a super with hog half comb in it. And as much as I want to take it, I'm not going to, I'm actually gonna reduce the size of the hive and see if I can crowd them out so they'll finish this up. There's a lot of these that don't have caps in them, but um, yeah, you can kind of see the picture. They're just cassettes basically with foundation in them 
and the bees build out of that foundation and you basically have comb honey and a little cassette it's really cool and they're doing a really good job on it they just need a little, need a little more time So guys, that pretty well does it with the prep work here. It's time to get these frames in this little extractor and get some honey out of them. We ended up with nine boxes. Not all nine of those boxes are full. I'm a little disappointed in the amount that we got, but I do think they're still putting back honey. So maybe we'll get another harvest this year as well. This is a little bit earlier than I usually, than I usually extract. So maybe I'll get another harvest this year. I'm not sure. Um, but the advantage of that is it looks like I'm going to get all of the very light spring honey that the bees put up in early spring as a opposed to the darker honey that the bees start putting up in later spring and summertime. So uh, that's going to be good because that's my favorite, that's my favorite taste in honey. So let's go ahead and get started and see what we can get here.
So we ended up with two full five gallon buckets plus this partial bucket. The uh, cappings are over here also and they're gonna have to be smashed up and drained as well. But, you know, it, it's a little disappointing, I guess, but it's still, I guess it's still reasonably early in the year. Um, and, you know, 100 pounds of honey is a lot of honey any way you look at it. So I'm thankful for what we got. I'm very, very thankful for what we got. And most of this is fairly light spring honey, which is my favorite. So it'll be nice to keep this, keep most of this honey separate this year. I'm going to put these boxes back on the hives and um, let them do their thing with it. So let's see what we got here. There's bucket number one. And... You count for the bucket, we're looking at about 50 pounds. What's heavy? And same thing, about 50 pounds or so. We're gonna call it 50. I'm gonna try to measure what's in these cappings here. I don't think it's gonna be very accurate. So this whole tub weighs about 28 pounds. So I bet there's 20, I bet there's 15 to 20 pounds of honey in this tub. And there's a little bit in this bucket. So that's about 10 pounds, 8 or 10 pounds of honey. So we're going to call this about 125 pounds. It's got to cool off. Say please. Me. Say please. Me. There you go. Say it needs some honey, Daddy. So guys, before we close out this video, I wanted to show y'all something that I thought was really, really interesting. Uh, this is three batches of honey, all from the very same hives. The one on the far left here uh, is some that I got earlier this year, about two, two and a half weeks ago, something like that. The second is what we just extracted. Uh, it was yesterday at this point, we just extracted it. And this right here is some from last year. Now it doesn't have anything to do with the age of it. It has to do with the time that it was extracted. So this on the far right was extracted later in the year. It's just a matter of what plants, flowers, and that type of stuff that the bees got the, the nectar from. And we see that it gets darker and darker as the year goes on. So early stuff, middle of the season stuff, and later in the season. I just thought that was really interesting because I think this might be the first time I've ever had three batches of honey to compare like this. I think that in the very center is actually my favorite. I thought I would share that with y'all and um, I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks. Bye.